funeral of Mata Colonel Mahadev, who lost his life in the line of duty at Kupwara, will be held tomorrow in Satara. David Coleman had leads to be made an accused in 26-11 terror attack case. Hi and welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai. I'm Shama Mishra and let's see the news in detail now. Funeral of Mata, Colonel Ma Santosh Mahadek, who lost his life in the line of duty at Kupwara, will be held at his native Pogarwari in Satara tomorrow. Colonel of Army's elite para commando force was yesterday killed by militants during an operation near the line of control in Kupwara district of Kashmir. The commanding officer of 41 Rashtri Rifles, Mahadek, who was leading a search party, was critically injured when militants hiding in a dense forest area of Hajinaka opened fire. Mahadek breathed his last on Tuesday at the base hospital. His body arrived today in Pune in Maharashtra. Now, special Mumbai court today allowed the prosecution's plea to make Pakistan-born American terror operative David Coleman Headley an accused in the November 26-11 terror attack in Mumbai. Headley is likely to appear in court by video conferencing. The Mumbai police had made an application to the court to allow it to write to the U.S. Department of Justice in this matter. Headley has been convicted in the U.S. for his role in the 26-11 attacks and is serving his sentence. If made an accused in the case in India, Headley is likely to appear in court by video conferencing. On October 8, Special Public Prosecutor Ujwal Nikam filed an application saying that Headley should be tried as the American national was not tried under the Indian law for terror conspiracy. Devotees celebrated Chhat Puja, which is the festival of Surya Upasana in different parts of the city. Chhat Puja is performed in order to thank Sun God for sustaining life on earth and to request the granting of certain wishes. The festival saw married women observing fast for nearly 36 hours. People offered prayers to Sun God during Chhat Puja festival at Girgaon Chapati, Juhu Beach, Dadar, elsewhere in Mumbai. यहां पे जो महिला होती हैं बिना अन्न जले के उपवास रखती हैं शाम के टाइम पे जब सूर्यास्त होता है तो फिर हम लोग सूर्यास्त को आरक देते हैं और मॉर्निंग के टाइम पे जब सूर्योदय पहला सूर्य निकलता है तो हम लोग सूर्योदय को आरक देते हैं महाराष्ट्र वंस अगेन इज लीडिंग इन फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड फ्रॉम जनवरी 2015 टू ऑगस्ट 2015 द फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन द स्टेट रीच्ड टू 55307 करोड़ रुपीस व्हिच क्रिएटेड नियरली 123000 740 job vacancies in the state. With the reduction of permissions required for setting up business in the state, a large number of investors are choosing Maharashtra as investment destination. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis' foreign tours have also brought flow of investments in the state in the last eight months. The major countries who are investing in the state are Taiwan, USA, Germany, China and Switzerland. Taiwan alone has invested 35,000 in the spirit. With the objective to create a strong rapport among the established ones and to extend best support and guidance to the upcoming startups, a rare entrepreneurial venture and a first of its kind initiative in India, the Mumbai Ta Tamil Chamber of Commerce and Industry, an industrial body, was inaugurated today in the city. The chamber intends to guide young Tamilians for starting their own ventures that are below the poverty line. The chamber also aims to uproot Tamilian women rack pickers and empower them. That's it then in this edition of Metro Scan from Mumbai. We'll be back tomorrow evening with more updates from the commercial capital. Till then, it's over to Delhi Studios. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.